since my last video, I've started going to work in person instead of doing it virtually. And I am glad that the Unabomber has put his sections into like bite-sized pieces, at least this next section. I'm looking at section three and it's, it's a big boy, but this one is small and that is good. I need to like be breaking it up because I'm not gonna wanna come home from work and like make a giant Unabomber video. All right, so I'm just gonna read you verbatim the point six, which is like the introduction into the psychology of modern leftism. Almost everyone will agree that we live in a deeply troubled society. Fair, sure, I can follow you on that. One of the most widespread manifestations of the craziness of our world is, can you guess what it is? I already said the title, so it's, it's leftism. <laughs> so a discussion of the psychology of leftism can serve as an introduction to the discussion of the problems of modern society in general. It's an unfounded theory, unless he's gonna found it later, that's like hidden in his academic language. Like he uses the word craziness, which kind of gives it away, you know? Um, so far, this is manifesto number three. We've got two right-wingers and one leftist. So mark that down, I'll be keeping track. So in point seven, he's like, what is leftism? Is it socialism? Is it, he like, he starts to identify it as um, socialist, collectivist, politically correct, politically correct people, feminists, gay and disability advocates, um, animal rights activists, and the like, which like, I was like, oh, so you, want disabled people to have rights so you're crazy got it but he's like oh not not everybody in all of these movements is a crazy ass leftist so at least there's that and he says what we are trying to get at in discussing leftism is not so much movement or an ideology as a psychological trope or sorry psychological type or rather a collection of related types. So he's talking about psychology here, which like you can, it is possible to talk about like, oh, leftists tend to have this kind of psychological makeup. But if you're gonna talk only about psychology, it's like weird that you're defining that through political affiliation. Okay, so point eight is largely fluff, so I'm gonna pull out the one important sentence and get that one to you. All we are trying to do here is indicate in a rough and approximate way the two psychological tendencies that we believe are the main driving force of modern leftism, which like, I'm excited to find out what those are. Um, and also, we've just completely abandoned the idea of like, you know, he was just talking about the Industrial Revolution. I thought that was what this was going to be about. Like, where did that go? So he says that the two psychological tendencies are feelings of inferiority, which, like, weird to me. Because it's like, I, as someone who leans left politically, like, I've seen leftists stereotyped as, like, oh, you think that you're better than everybody else. You just think that you're smarter than people. So, like, the feelings of inferiority part is surprising to me. And over-socialization, which, like, the word social or socialized or, like, whatever can be used in ways that differ from each other very strongly. So I'm interested to see where he's going to go with that one. He says that feelings of inferiority are characteristic of modern leftism as a whole, but over-socialization is a smaller group of leftists. And that's where we're gonna end it today. Um, we're about to get into feelings of inferiority, so that's gonna be fun. We're gonna learn all about my insecurities, I guess. <laughs>